Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The tourism industry has been revitalized as of the 9th of July 2020 with the commencement of St. Lucia receiving commercial flights. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Donald Invite, indicated that the impact on the economy has been far-reaching. In employment, just under 1,500 individuals have resumed employment at the hotels and individuals remain employed at the quarantine centers. The Permanent Secretary indicated a total of 500 taxi drivers has been COVID-19 certified and are currently in operation, as well as 56 boat operators. The publication campaign also allows for increased employment in the tourism industry. The campaign was launched with the view of allowing individuals from countries from within the designated travel bubble to visit St. Lucia without having to undergo the 14-day quarantine period upon the presentation of a negative PCR test conducted seven days before travel. The permanent secretary noted that it is important that there is equal opportunity for all subsectors of the tourism industry and the introduction of the publication campaign allows just that. The Government of the Republic of India has made a donation of medical supplies to the Government of St. Lucia. Since the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1982, India has assisted St. Lucia through the implementation of programs aimed towards the development of human resources, education and the strengthening of the health sector. Representative of the Indian Cultural Foundation, Dr. Ram Thiapia, speaking on behalf of the High Commissioner of India to St. Lucia, stated that the donation of medicine to St. Lucia is a testimony of India's commitment to the advancement and development of St. Lucia, especially in the face of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Jenny Daniel, expressed gratitude to the Government of the Republic of India on behalf of the people of St. Lucia. The handing over ceremony for the donation of medical supplies took place on Wednesday, August 12, 2020 at the Ministry of External Affairs. Parents and guardians of students who wrote the 2020 common entrance examinations and will be proceeding to a secondary school are informed that bursary checks under the Education Access Fund are now available for collection from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the following dates and locations. Parents or guardians collecting checks must carry along a photo ID and those collecting on behalf of others must present a letter of authorization. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.